We are doing some more questions on electrochemistry. You will be introduced to two new equations. One is the Nernst equation, the other one is the concentration cell. What is the Nernst equation convey to us? Uh, always all the cells are not under standard condition, a situation of one atmosphere and 25 degrees Celsius. Cases when it is not under standard situation, we use the Nernst equation as given there which is E equals E0 minus 0 0.0592 divided by N log Q. E is the value of cell potential not under standard condition and E0 is at standard condition and N is the number of electrons that gets transferred and Q is the reaction quotient which is product over reactant. So the same equation gets modified when the situation is at equilibrium because E is equal to 0 and hence we get E0 is equal to uh, 0 0.0592 divided by n log k, the value of q becomes equal to the equilibrium constant. And apart from the Nernst equation, there is another modified form of Nernst equation uh, for concentration cells. In case of concentration cells, we have two cells which have the, um, two half cells which have the same electrodes, but the concentration of the electrolyte is different. So in that case, the E is equal to E0 minus 0 0.0592 divided by N log of the dilute concentration goes at, at the numerator and the concentrated concentration goes at the uh, denominator. We will do uh, application of all these equations as we go further. Let's consider uh, the cell zinc and copper and uh, write down the value of E for it. So this is the reaction in which zinc is getting oxidized and copper ions is getting uh, reduced to copper. So when you want to substitute the value in the, the equation, you will see that for the Q, the one at the anode or the one which gets oxidized is at the numerator, the one which gets reduced or at the cathode is at the denominator. That is the reason we have concentration of zinc ion at the numerator and concentration of copper ions at the denominator. The same situation at equilibrium where Q is equal to K, there won't be any transfer of electrons and therefore E will be equal to 0 and E0 reduces to the familiar equation which you have been using before, the relation between E0 and log K. Calculate the electric potential for the cell given below. The cell has its calcium calcium ions and tin tin. Tin ions tin, therefore calcium is the anode and tin is the cathode. So as usual, we will use the E equals E0 equation. So the first step is to calculate the value of E0 and calculate the value of E0 from get the standard reduction potential from the literature. Put in all the values and then um, you know that in, while putting in the values for log Q, the anode comes first and then the cathode. So calculate the value of E. Calculate the solubility product of PBSO4 from the given standard reduction potentials. We are given two equations. One is PBSO4 giving you PB solid and sulfate, and the other one is PB ions giving you PB solid. And the E0 for both the reactions are given. So, since they have asked you to calculate the solubility product, the equation under consideration is PBSO4 solid giving you PB2 plus plus SO4 2 minus. And we need to calculate the K for this equation. So from we know that the K is related to E cell. So if we could get the E for this uh, for uh, this reaction, I should be able to get the value of K. So let's just do what we can do. The first equation given there can be written as uh, as it is because uh, the PBSO4 is on the reactant side and SO4 2 minus is on the product side. But the second equation has PB ions in the reactant side and PB solid in the uh, product side. We need PB2 plus in the product side, therefore reverse the equation. And since you are reversing the equation, the value of E will also change. It will become positive 0 0.13. So now the two equations, if you add it up, the electrons will get cancelled and the PB solid will get cancelled. And hence, the value of new E for the reaction as written will be equal to negative 0 0.18. And if you look at the equation, this is what we need to calculate the solubility product. And therefore, use the equation, the relation between E cell and log K, 
get the value of k and we get and that will be the solubility product of PbSO4. Calculate the aluminum ion concentration for a cell and the E value is given and the cell given is aluminum is the anode and iron is the cathode and the concentration of iron is given you have to calculate the concentration of aluminum. So this is the case which is not under standard state therefore the equation you use will be that E equals E0 minus 0 0.0592 divided by n log q. So the first step we do will be the calculation of E0. E0 can be calculated as E cathode minus anode. Get the value of reduction potential from the literature and get the value of E cell. And once you got the E cell, we have to substitute it into that equation. Now the question about Q is, if you write down the uh, actual equation for the cell, you will find that 2 aluminum giving you uh, uh, three it reacts with three iron two plus and giving you two aluminium ions and three Fe. So based on this, the Q will be, and you know that we write the anode first and the cathode at the bottom, and the anode concentration will be raised to the power of two and the cathode concentration will be raised to the power of three. So substitute all the values and get the value of uh, aluminum, and that comes out as 1.05 molar. So don't forget to. Uh, write down the equation and balance the equation and raise the concentration to, to the power of the stoichiometry. A voltaic cell consists of uh, AU, AU3 plus electrode with an E0 value of 1.50 and a silver electrode with a E0 value of 0 0.80 volts. Calculate the concentration of AU3 plus. The concentration of silver plus is given and the E cell is also given at uh, conditions other than standard uh, conditions. So now before we start we need to know which electrode will act as the cathode and which will act as the anode. The gold electrode with a larger reduction potential will prefer to get reduced and will act as the cathode and the silver electrode having a comparatively lower reduction potential will act as the anode. Therefore the cell representation will be Ag as the anode and uh, gold as the cathode. So as usual, the first step is to calculate the value of E0 and get the reduction potential uh, reduction potential values are given, get the value of E0 set, then use the relation between E equals and E0 and then substitute the concentrations and the unknown concentration AU3 plus can be calculated. Questions on concentration cell are given in the next video. Please refer to nine concentration cells waiting.